we want to find the zeros of the quadratic and if you want to find the zeros of the quadratic, it's really saying, what number can you substitute in for x and make this equal zero? So if we're gonna find the x's that make this equal zero, we wanna set it equal to zero and then solve. This particular one we're gonna factor, but just highlighting that there's a one in front of the x squared, so we're, we're gonna be able to do a little bit less work to factor. So drawing my x just to help me factor, 1 multiplied by negative 33 is negative 33, so that goes up top, and then negative 8 in the middle, we're just going to push that straight down, thinking of two numbers that multiply to get negative 33 and add up to negative 8, we could do a little brainstorming off to the side, we use the positive version of this number, so 33, 1 times 33 is 33. I try dividing 33 by 2, and I get a decimal. Divide 33 by 3, and I get 11. Divide 33 by 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I get a decimal, so those are all my factor pairs. So looking at my short list, if it multiplies to get negative 33, we need one positive and one negative. And if it's going to add up to negative 8, then we need more negatives than positives. So the pair 3 and 11 are going to get me to that 8, making the 11 negative. So when we add them, we get negative 8. Since the number in front of x squared is 1, I can go directly to the factored form. x plus 3 times x minus 11 equals 0. When two things multiply together to get 0, the only way that can happen is if one of those is the number zero. So to find what number makes x plus three equal zero, set it equal to zero and solve, and I get negative three. Negative three plus three is zero. Negative three minus 11 is negative uh, 14, and zero times negative 14 is zero. Set x minus 11 equals zero. Add over 11, and I get 11. Again, that's working because that would make this 14 times zero. So here are the two numbers that make the original equal zero. Little fun fact, they also happen to be the x-intercepts if I graphed this parabola. Because if your y-coordinate is zero, then you're on the x-axis.